Hey guys, it's TARDIS9 speaking. As you can see, I've been very, very busy over these last few weeks. So, I was going to say I've decided also to uh, start a new YouTube series called For Farquhar Fables, during which I read Thomas the Tank Engine fanfics. Also, I would like to confirm that I anticipate to begin production on my new YouTube series about the Vickerstown Railway Museum in about springtime 2021, so I should say hopefully I'm looking for about a summer release. Now this is because I've got quite a fair bit to do at university, things which I have to admit I have to place first, I hope you understand. But I am really looking forward to this venture. One thing I must ask about the fanfic series though is that you can send me any story you like. It can be from the Railway series universe, it can be from the TV series universe, it can even be from series 25 and 26 if you really want to do a fanfic like that. But you must please bear in mind that there are some fanfics that I may decide to reject. Now don't take this personally. As if you really want to adapt it yourself, I'm sure there's someone else who will be willing to do so. Or you could even try doing it yourself, but please remember that, as the owner of this channel, I do have the right to decide if a piece of work doesn't meet up to the quality I want it to meet, or anything like that. And please, for God's sake, do not send me anything pornographic. I would also like to confirm that I am thinking of maybe filming some railway series adaptations as well. For this, I must also ask you to please not send me any comments demanding why I didn't use this model from that creator or something like that. Please, I really appreciate the fact that you like their work, but at the same time, it's my channel and it's my video. I mean, I had this happen with one YouTuber for the uh, last animated music video I made. And please, questions like that just don't feel very nice. As they just make me feel like I'm just sort of expected to use the models that you guys want. When really, I only make these videos because I actually like making these videos and writing these stories. I would also like to announce, at the same time, that I am also about to begin work on a Tugs short story as well, which I uh, hope you like. And I would also like to announce that for the last story in my Christmas special service, I am currently working on a 45 minute trains film, that's right, a movie, to be hopefully released around Christmas Day. The audio is all fully recorded, and the filming is very nearly complete. Now I would have to say at this point that, because of university commitments at this moment, i.e. assessments, I may not be able to release it as a movie on Christmas Day. If that comes to that, I deeply apologise, but I hope you will also enjoy the uh, audio version of the story that you will receive instead, so you will still at least have something for Christmas Day. And I would also like to make a very important announcement. As some of you will know, as well as teaching, it has always been my ambition to go into writing professionally. And I would like to announce at this point that I have just released two Kindle books. They are both available for purchase as of right now, practically. One is a short story, a very uh, romantic one, called The uh, Lighthouse of Brittle Sea Bay, and the other is an anthology of three gothic short stories, called Shattered Lives and Broken Hearts. The links to both can be found in the description below on Amazon, and I would like to confirm that they are available in both the UK and the US stores, so I really recommend that you check them out. Dry rails and good running, everyone, and Merry Christmas. But before you go, I would like to show you this short sneak peek from the upcoming movie. 
Christmas was fast approaching the island of Sodor. It was a busy time for everyone, especially since snow had arrived on the island. Buses chugged along the roads, taking care not to skid on the ice. Farm machines were kept busy all day fetching food for the animals. All the engines worked hard, delivering people and goods to and from towns, villages and cities. With the snow came drifts, and with drifts came snow plows. Trains must get through, and so the fat controller arranged for all engines travelling out on the open lines to wear their snow plows. The only exception to this rule was Denise, who kept herself busy as the station pilot, and was often, when not working, found in the company of Diesel. Of course, most engines hate snow, and so they were unwilling to have to go out in such weather. <laughs>